the feeling foundation of mindfulness is really the um, evolved nervous system response that we all have from a very young age so if you think about it when babies are young they have already this unpleasant pleasant feelings they feel the feeling of hunger and it's an unpleasant experience and as best they can they are expressing it through through crying through tension in their body um, they feel a pleasant feeling after they are or while they are drinking or after they have finished drinking from the mother's breast um, watch some babies and they are super blissed out after this pleasant feeling is arising and present and when they don't get that pleasant feeling they are start to get upset they start to grasp after uh, the mother's breast trying to grasp it and when we go even further back than that to our evolution um, there's a nice example my, was, my father was telling me he was trekking in Nepal and he was watching this this little um, what's it called a, a leech which was crawling and there was a fire next to it and the leech was crawling into the fire because the leech is used to crawling towards heat so it feels probably it feels pleasant sensation when there's heat and this pleasant sensation intensifies and it crawled to its own death because of course it doesn't doesn't know that fire is, is bad for it because it didn't have to evolve this understanding so even very small organisms I think had this feeling of pleasant or unpleasant and now we've of course evolved a more more complex understanding a more complex uh, reward system loss and reward system in our in our brains in our body minds uh, and and that's maybe not always the same for all of us some what some someone might hear as praise another person might hear as blame but we do have these basic um, things which create pleasant and unpleasant sensations and then that mixes with our memories our associations our perceptions our past experiences and creates uh, pleasant unpleasant feelings of course also when we think thoughts that adds to the pleasant or unpleasantness of the feeling so for example if i hear a sound of a car that can have a little bit of unpleasant feeling for sure it's a not necessarily a pleasant sound this this loud noise and then if i start thinking about oh there's these always these cars here there's always this traffic noise my mind is spinning more is creating more tension more unpleasant vedana is arising in my experience um, however it could always the same sound could of, of course also create pleasant feeling for example if i haven't seen civilization for a while and i'm looking forward to going back and i hear a car and that creates something pleasant for example or someone's getting a gift someone's getting a gift of a awesome car and it's it's yours it's it's mine it's my car and you start revving the engine and you really enjoy that sound because it's yours so the brain creates this uh, associations and through these associations there is this uh, response of the nervous system of the of the chemical system of the hormones interlinked with the heart rate our whole body responds in a way um, so as you start to pay more attention to this you can see that every experience there is accompanying some pleasant or unpleasant or neutral feeling and the the feeling tone is really what connects the body and the mind so with there is the physical body and and what we can feel and sense through the five senses and then there is the mind which is the consciousness and all our thoughts that we think about and intentions that arise and the feeling is the link between the two so the way the the mind perceives the body is through feeling the way the the body is impacted through the mind is through feeling so when you think a thought there is some chemical reaction in the body which creates some feeling in the body which is then perceived in the mind so it's the it's the link between body and mind 
And the more strong this feeling tone of an experience, either of the body or of the mind, of a thought or a, or a sense door, um, this more strong this connection and the more strong also the mind reacts with clinging if it's pleasant or aversion if it's unpleasant. And the more intense a thought of a pleasant thought or unpleasant thought, the more intense the physical reaction, the chemical reaction in the body of hormones, of dopamine being released, of the nervous system revving up or, or calming down. So learning to observe the feeling tone of experience is so crucial to interrupt this intense causality which can create so much um, delusion to ourselves and suffering. And it's not to say that observing this will make feelings go away, will make Vedana go away. Vedana is part of nature. It will just start to release the unnecessary uh, Vedana that gets produced to, uh, through our evaluation, through our thinking, through our comparing the situation, worrying about the situation being pr projecting it into the future or even taking things from the past and unpleasant feelings from the past keep coming back because we don't process them, because we don't just feel them, just observe them, because we've suppressed them. Um, there will still be pleasant and unpleasant feelings and experience. For, for me, uh, there's all the time arising these, these feelings, of course. I, there's things I enjoy, things I don't enjoy. But I hope to think that I've released a little bit of this um, intensity of grasping onto these feelings. So there is a bit of a chain reaction which happens and it is also the model of karma, the model of cause and effect, the model of dependent origination um, is related to this also. So it's the way experience unfolds because of cause and effect and specifically the experience unfolds of our body and mind. So a sim simplified version of this model of dependent origination is first we have contact. So this is really where something comes in, one of the sense doors, one of the six sense doors, including the mind. For example, a, a sound arises, a sound of someone saying something. Um, and let's say it's someone saying something bad to us, blaming us for something. You know? Then feeling arises this this gets perceived and feeling arises it's let's say it's um perceived as something bad bad for ourselves we just got blamed it's not good unpleasant feeling arises it might be a tightening a tension it might be a um, contraction of the heart the belly the 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 tension in the mind it can be any anything it can be heat in the body which is accompanied with something unpleasant. In response to that, some kind of craving arises. So craving, we refer both to the, the holding onto something and also the pushing away of something. So in this case, it might be aversion arises or hatred or disliking arises in the mind because the mind doesn't like unpleasant feelings. And in response to that strong feeling of aversion, a reaction arises, a reaction of the intention of the mind. Maybe a intention to say something, the intention to think something appears. Why does this person say that? It's not true, it's so unfair. Um, I should do something immediately. And that might be birthed then into a, a vocal action, saying something back, or a physical action, maybe go so far as slapping them. <laughs> And because this whole process is misperceived, I, I don't perceive this process clearly, I think this person is the cause of my unpleasantness. And I perceive this process with ignorance, without mindfulness. And it perpetuates. So there's further unpleasant feelings, there's further um, cravings, further reactions. And, and, and this process goes on and, and on. And what we have the chance to do through mindfulness practice is to interrupt this process. To say, okay, there is unpleasant feeling, there is something happening, a sound, there is unpleasant feeling, but I can choose not to react with craving. 
So this is where we cut this process and we replace the process with something else. So there is less, over time, less this reaction is craving because we're relaxing into this tendency of the mind to react, to grasp, to push away. And instead of it being a knee-jerk reaction, there is more responding. So then we can start to respond with more wholesome behavior rather than unwholesome behavior. So sometimes that could be forgiveness. Sometimes that might be a strong action that we take because it's not okay what they're doing, but it's not a reaction. It's not coming from anger, from hatred. It's coming from clarity, from strength, from setting things right. Um, and we're replacing these unwholesome reactions with wholesome uh, responses that come because of the space we create through mindfulness, because of the awareness of unpleasant and pleasant feelings and that we don't cling to them. Likewise, it could be a, pl a pleasant situation that arises and a pleasant feeling. For example, um, there could be a nice song which is playing um, and the mind immediately reacts with, how can I get more of this? craving arises how can I get more of this we can enjoy simply the the song playing and reaching us and there can be pleasant sensations experience happening but the mind tends to okay how, how do I get more okay and then it starts planning it starts to go okay um, next month I will do this and that to get this more um, to create more of this feeling instead of really just being with what's happening with the experience so this is also something to observe when pleasant feeling arises. So just uh, observe it as pleasant feeling, just knowing it as pleasant feeling. And deeper we can also get attached to meditation experiences. So the peace that arises from the unworldly feelings of pleasant, that arises the samadhi, that arises the, the calmness, the tranquility that arises from meditation. We can also start to get attached, start to crave to it, start to take it as mine. We will go more into this me mind uh, phenomena in the in the last weeks of the course into anatta non self, but there is usually this thing of grasping onto it and taking it as mine and trying to hold onto it, um, and this is perpetuating through ignorance. 